So far, we have discussed the six type of sketching tools in the 2D sketching. Those are line, rectangle, circle, spline, ellipse and arc. Now before moving forward to discuss the other set of options in sketching, let us discuss what is a datum. So datum is nothing but a reference. A datum can be a plane, it can be a coordinate system, it can be a point, it can be an axis or a center line. So what is the function or what is the need of a datum? So whenever we are working on layouts or when we are, whenever we are working to create a geometry, there are some particular features in the geometry that are referred to specific locations, right? So this might be sounding a bit confusing for you when we are uh, trying to solve the sample exercises. There you will be understanding uh, the functionality of the datums. So let us now just see a basic example or basic uh, methodology to use the datum. Let me start with the coordinate system. So coordinate system is the basic type of a reference or a datum which is nothing but x y and z axis as we are working in the 2d section currently we are able to see the x and y axis in the screen which are perpendicular to each other and you can also see the z axis and uh, the letter z written which indicates z axis and uh, for your information the z axis is perpendicular to the screen so that is the case we are not able to see the z axis and uh, we, in order to use the coordinate system, you just have to tap on the coordinate system and click anywhere on the white color screen. So as I have already selected the coordinate system, my cursor was showing me the coordinate system attached to it. Now I have pressed escape and the co coordinate system has been disappeared. So let me just click on the coordinate system and let me just place the coordinate system at any specific location. Let me just place it over here. There it is, I have my coordinate system. Now, uh, if there is a requirement for me to create another coordinate system, I can continue to click at any other location and I can just continue clicking a uh, numerous number of uh, coordinate systems. In the software Creo, there is no particular limit of creating uh, the number of datums. We can create numerous and multiple number of uh, datums for our referencing basically so in this case let me show you with only one coordinate system so let me just press escape or middle click there it is the datum has been disappeared so now I have the coordinate system on my screen so whenever uh, I am plan uh, plotting a sketch on the screen right now you may be noticing that the sketch is referring to the coordinate system okay let me show you an example for example let me create a circle with center and point let me try to create a circle at some distance from the datum okay let me just try to create it in this area so this is the way i have to just click anywhere in the screen and I again i have to click another click so my circle is ready and now i have to just press the middle click there it is you can see that the center of the circle is now referred with respect to the coordinate system so you can see the circle having a diameter of something around 5.8 is having a distance of 8.8 .8 units from the origin in the x direction and it is having a distance of 5.46 from the origin in the y direction so you can see that the circle is actually referring to the datum coordinate system so in this way i can create another set of sketch for example let me just try to create a rectangle with center rectangle having the origin of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system so let me just try to draw it there it is I have a rectangle right now this is again having a its own dimensions these are just examples so and at present scenario i'm not bothered about the dimensions i'm only trying to ex i am only trying to explain you what is the datums so we have uh, quite understood what is the coordinate system which is very simple right so now let us try to delete the geometry delete the sketch and let us try to use the another type of uh, datum which is center line which is most commonly used in most of the cases 
in order to use the center line the process is similar to the earlier option what we have seen we just have to click on the center line and followed by we just have to click on the screen at any specific location so it is generally uh, a good technique to have a center line on the screen before starting any sketch so i usually plot a vertical line and a horizontal line because this will be acting as a references for me in most of my drawings which are perpendicular to each other and uh, i can also create the center line at any angle whenever wherever desired yeah. or whatever angle is desired like for example this angle is around 75 if i want this angle to be with respect to the horizontal i can again delete this 75 degrees and now i have 15 degrees over here i want it to be 45 so the angle of the center line is with respect to the horizontal center line which is around 45 degrees right so what is the purpose of uh, center lines let me show you with one example imagine i want to create a circle a series of circles okay and i want them to be uh, something around 45 degrees like you know i want them to be in a collinear line okay so it is quite difficult for me to match the line you know it's very difficult we cannot assume that the centers of the cent of the circle are uh, falling on the same line right so if i have a center line with me i just have to plot a center line which is inclined and i can create the circle which centers on the center line so it is quite easy for me in this case right now to create circles or any geometry which are falling on the same line okay so this is the basic use of center line and there are multiple uses let me show you one more case let me not delete it let me just zoom out okay let me go to this section and let me try to create another center line a horizontal center line okay and this having a distance of around 120 from the top center line let me just make it a strong dimension and uh, you know you can also create symmetric uh, sketches you know symmetric in the sense if we are dividing the sketch into uh, exactly half you will be having the same uh, section on the right hand side and on the left hand side i mean the distance everything will be similar so let me just show you how to do that so when i'm clicking on the circle imagine i'm starting with the corner rectangle and uh, let me just start from the left hand side of this vertical center line let me start from here and as i'm moving to the right side you can see the cursor is stopping at the first location that is the center line itself i want to continue my rectangle to the other side of the center line and as i'm just scrolling to the right side you can see the cursor is automatically stopping over here and i'm getting a symbol of symmetry on the left corner you can see yeah this is a symbol of symmetry so right now my uh, rectangle which i'm going to create is symmetric with respect to the vertical axis and i can actually proceed this till the base of the coordinate system um, on the side or the center line okay i can stop at this location and i have a symmetric rectangle in this case and whenever i'm changing the dimension of this rectangle for example i want to change it to be something around 25 so you can see the change will be with respect to the both the sides okay see, yeah you can see the changes with respect to the both the sides let me show you another example on this side let me create a center line and imagine the rectangle what i'm going to create right now is not symmetric so i just have to start from this point and let me not stop at the symmetry let me just continue and uh, move forward to other end this is not a symmetric rectangle in this case the dimensions or the width of the rectangle will not be changing with the symmetry okay for example i want it to be again 25 there it is i mean it is not symmetry let me just try to show you another example let me just try to increase by uh, say 55 you can see there is a, there is no symmetry uh, in the rectangle whereas in this case as i have created a symmetric rectangle whatever dimension i'm entering the dimension will be equally divided into both the sides so similarly i can similarly i can create a symmetry in this fashion say for example i can go down from here and i can stop at the symmetric location 
and I can just continue till whatever length I want. So this is again a symmetric. You can see a symmetric symbol over here and uh, the symbols what you are seeing are actually called as constraints and uh, these are located on the right hand side. So I will be discussing about these in the next videos. So it is not to uh, worry about this thing. Just try to understand the basic datum uh, we have in this Creo software right now. Okay. So there is another datum which is commonly used most probably depending on the application with you're working with and that is a point. So this is again used for referring the sketch. For example, I have a point over here. I can refer my sketches. Let me just try to go with the circle itself. I can have the center of the circle. I can refer the center of the circle with respect to this point. Let me go to the dimensions. Just click on dimensions, click the center of the circle and click the point. I want this distance, the horizontal distance to be changed. So let me just click the middle click over here. I got a distance to be modified according to my need. Let me try to keep it as 150. There it is. So the center of the circle is now with respect to the point which I have created. And again the point can be referred to the center line. Point can be changed with this. Uh, okay. For example, this distance is with respect to the center of this rectangle. I can change this distance to be around say 250 and uh, I can also refer this point with respect to any other feature or sketch which is uh, present in the screen. Okay, I can refer this center with the center of the circle, this point with the center of the circle and I can just click middle click for example. I'll just try to show again the first click the second click and the middle click. So I got this distance to be around 530. I can modify it to be something around 600. You can see the point has moved to the right side. Let me just refit. Yeah. So these are the three commonly used datums which are available and uh, uh, there is another uh, you know, you can be observing one thing over here on the screen that we have datums listed on the left side and datums again listed under the sketching category. So the datums which are listed in the sketching category are actually, you know, you can understand the difference when you're working in the 3D module. So if imagine we are working in the 3D module presently and uh, after creating a sketch, the 2D sketch, when we are returning back to the 3D module, the datums created in the sketching will be disappeared. They will not be seen in the screen on the screen. Whereas the datums which are we are using the global datums we call them. Okay. These will be seen in the scene on the screen. Okay. I will be showing you this difference when we are into the 3D uh, module of the videos. Okay. By the way, you can see the color difference. Also, there is a difference between both the datums. You can see the center line. For example, I'm using the center line as my tool of reference. And let me just create over here. I'm just creating an inclined line and you can see there is a little bit different in shading. Okay. This is a, something like kind of blue color, right? So there is a difference of the datum which we are using in the sketching module and the global datums which are available on the left side. So this isn't about datums. Let us move to the next video.